Hi, everybody. Welcome to Shuko Math Lab, learning through practicing. So today we're going to start a new unit. And this unit, we're going to cover sequences and a series. And uh, for our practice number one, we will start out with the basic uh, definitions about the sequences, how to write out the sequences, also how to find a general term formula for the an terms in my sequences here, okay? So the problem we're going to cover in this video, we're going to have a total of 10 provinces here. We divide into two groups. The first group is, uh, you know, the, when the problem give us the general term, it give us the an, now how do I write out the sequence? And the group two here is uh, when the general term, you know, the, when the sequence is given, then I need to look at the pattern and to decide what will be the general term AN for this given sequences. As our other units, every practice, you know, we always start with the very easy problem and then we are going to go a little bit harder you know, for the later problems here. So as usual, you know, in order to make this practicing meaningful, and uh, I will recommend you stop the video right now and uh, take about uh, 10 or 15 minutes and uh, try to finish this 10 problems. Then after you finish, resume the video and then listen to me how to solve those problems and check your answers to see whether your answer match my answer or not. Okay, so now go ahead and uh, to stop the video and uh, do your own work. And uh, when you finish, resume the video, okay? Okay, everybody, I think the, uh, assume the, we have the, you know, you have to finish your practices here. So let's try to solve all the problems. So for the group one problems here, let's try to find the sequence of when a given terms is given. So how do I write out the sequences for here? Okay, so the first problem is n squared minus one, plus n squared plus one here. So we just try to find a start with n equal to one. So we start our sequence n equal to one. This will be the one minus one, one plus one, n equal to two. It will be four minus one for the square. So the, for the square will be 16 um, plus one. And uh, then in here, when n equal to three, this will be nine minus one. And the bottom here will be n squared three will be nine minus nine plus one. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. So the two to the square is four. Then for the n equal to one, two, three, four, this will be 16 minus one. And then the, this will be 16 plus one. And da 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 da. So let's what uh, if you simplify a little bit, then this will be the zero, three fifths, and uh, a ten, and uh, fifteen over to seven, fifteen over to seventeen, and the da da da. So this will be our sequence here. Okay, so let's take a look at part B here. The part B, so the an terms uh, is negative one to the nth power and the n, and then this will be the uh, n factorial plus one here, okay? And uh, so for this one here, so still 
we see the A1s here will be one factorial, so this will be two, right? So this is negative one to the first factorial times one, so it's negative one half. And then so the A2 is the same thing here, so it's two factorial plus one. And then this one's here will be two, the two, so this will be two, the two factorial is two, so it's three halves here. So if you continue, let's do a couple more terms here. A3, it will be negative one to the third power, right? And here's a three. Then this is a three factorial plus one. And so this is negative three. And the three factorial is six. So it's six plus one is a seven here, right? So we start to see an alternating series. So if you kind of combine them, put them together, then you will find out your sequence will be one half and two third and the negative three seven and then the next 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 ones will be four over twenty five and the da 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 so this will be our sequence here right okay so then the part C is here is like uh, they give you a one is equal to six then. The later term, the a plus one, has something to do with the previous term is a n over n here. Okay, so for this type of the problems here, if you just like we did before, if you list a few, so we already know a one equal to six, right? So the a two it will be a one over one, right? Because a two this will be is one plus uh, so the A2, this will be one plus one, right? Okay, so this will be six again. Now for A3 here, so take a look at the A3. A3, this will be what? This will be two plus one, right? So it will be previous turn. So it's A2 over what? Over two here. Then from the previous one, we see the A2 is six. So this is six over what? Six over two, so this is three, right? Let's do one more term. So the A4 is here, right? So the A4, the four is three plus one. So now it will be equal to the A is what? A3, then divided by what? Divided by three. Then we see the A3 is three, so it's three and one, so it's equal to the threes here. So if you do a few more terms, and then you can find out this sequence will be six, six, right? So the next term is what? It's three, right? So the next term is three. Oh, I'm sorry here, this one's here. Try to, I need to be a little careful here. This is three. And uh, this is one, okay, so here, so it's one. And then you can continue, take the turn, so it's you see a one fourth. So, you know, maybe you can, you know, to see, you'll be able to generate this one fourth, like what we did here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the other ones here, the part D's here. The part D is tell you the A1 is equal to two. And then the a n plus one is equal to the a n and the one plus a n here. So still, you know, like uh, the term related to the previous term. So we do the same thing. So we say a one is two. Then you do a two. So a two is one plus one, right? So it's a one, so it's two, one plus a one, so it's one plus two here. So what is here? This is a two third. Okay, let's do one more. So A3, so A3 is a two plus one, right? So this will be A2, one plus A2. So A2 is a what? A2 is a two third. Then you plus one plus two third. Then if you simplify this, you know, the fraction, I. I, you know, I think if you are in the sequence in the series, you should know how to simplify the fractions, right? So this will be two third, this is a five third. So the answer is two fifths here. 
Okay, let's do one more term. So A4 here is A3 plus 1, right? So this is 3 plus 1. So this will be equal to A3 means 1 plus A3. So let's do again. So A3 is what? A3 is 2 fifths, right? So this is 2 fifths, 1 plus 2 fifths. So what is, uh, so what is this number here? This is 2 over 7 here. Okay, so now if you put this together, then we can see the sequences here. Start with what? The sequence so we start with a two, and then two third, two fifths, and the two sevenths, right? So we can write here. So this is a two, two third, and a two fifths. Uh, and uh, two seven, if you continue, the next term will be two over nine and da, 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 okay? So that's pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at the last problem for the group one. So the last problem, instead of giving you one term, they give you two terms here. So A1 is equal to two and A2 is equal to one. Then the way I defined is a n plus one, okay? So a n plus one is equal to the a n minus, a n minus one. So even like if they give you two terms, the way you do it is still is the same. You know, you can write out the few terms and then you see the patterns here, all right? So now we already give a one, a two. So let's try the a threes here. So the A3 is here, right? So first take a look at what is the three. Three means two plus one, right? So that means my A is two here. So I will say it's the A2, so the N is two, so it's equal to the A2 minus N minus one here, right? N minus one, so two minus one is one. So minus A1, so what is, so what is here? So it's one minus two is negative one. Okay, let's try one more. A4. A4 is, uh, F, A4 is what here? This is a three plus one, right? So N is equal to three. Okay, N equal to three. So the, I will have A3 minus, what is N minus one? Three minus one is minus A2. Okay, so now I say, oh, A3, I just got it. This is negative one. And what is my A2 see here? Hey, one, so minus one. So what I have here, negative two, right? Okay, now let's try one more. So A5. Okay, so take a look at what is A5. Five is what is four plus one. So my N here is four. So it will be A4 minus uh, four minus one is what? A3. Ha, I have A4 here already is negative two. So what is A3 here? The A3 is a negative one, right? So it's a minus what? A minus negative one here will give you what? It's negative one. So if you continue, so, so then that's why if you continue and uh, do the sequence, so I will see my sequence here is two, one, right, A1, A2, A3 is what, it's negative one. What is A4? It's negative two. What is A5? It's negative one. If you continue, the A6 will be what? A6 will be one, and then you go da, 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 da. All right, so that is uh, the five problems we have in the group one. I hope uh, you all, got it named correctly, then that means that you really pretty, you know how to write out the sequence. Okay, so I'm going to do the group problem number two here, right? So the group problem number two is like they give you the terms, you need to observe the pattern and write out the general term. It's a little bit harder, but it's not too much. Okay, let's take a look at this, my group two. Okay. So the, this is my group two problems here. Okay, so the first ones here, they give the patterns here. So this one is one half, one half, one fourth, one sixth, 
18110 and uh, da 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 and uh, so you immediately see you know it's kind of like when we were in the high school or middle school when we try to see the pattern so this one is a two right so it's two times one this one is a four it's like a two times two this is two times three so this is what two times four so here right so i see the denominator is two times some numbers right so that's why i know my an is equal to what one over what two times n so when a is from one two da, 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 right so one way you can check to see you did it correctly or not you can substitute so you say a a equal to one so it's one over two times one is one half a equal to two is one over two times two is one fourth and equal to three is one over two times three is one six then you know oh i got it right so it's, i got it right okay so now let's take a look uh, the next sequence here this is a four negative one and a one fourth negative one over 16 and uh, this is a 64 da, 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 da. so first things you recognize is like uh, oh this is the same as alternating one half negative this is a positive negative positive negative so it's a, it's alternating between the positive and the negatives so here and uh, also then you see here it seems like uh, from this number to this number, from this number to this number, they kind of drop by a fraction is one fourth, right? So like a one, four times one fourth have one, but then you need to take care of this negative. So it seems like everything is you have a negative sign there, right? Okay, so now, let's try to write it all right so i said my a n terms here so you know your a n term so it will be you know you dropping the negative like a negative one fourth so i said my first terms here so if you you say well how do i write it you can always see here you can say hey you know let's try here so the a one is equal to fourth right that's pretty good so the a2 is really equal to what? It's a four times what? Negative one fourth, right? That's why I give you negative one. Now let's see the a3. The a3 is here. It will be one fourth, right? So this one give you negative one. So a3 is what? a3 is really is uh, this numbers, right? So it will be the four times the negative one fourth. Then you times another negative one fourth. That's why we give you positive one fourth so here. So you start to see the patterns here. Okay, so if you say, I still don't see the pattern. Okay, let's do one more so here, right? So if you do one more so here, then you say A4, right? So A4, what is A4? A4 is this number times negative one fourth, so give you negative one sixteenth, right? So really is a threes, right? So it's a negative one fourth times negative one fourth. Then you time another negative one fourth. That's why we give you negative one over sixteen. Okay, so now you see, okay, I think I see the patterns here. It seems uh, everything right every in front of it they have a what they have a four right so i would say maybe i need to be a four and also i notice here it seems i'm start to times negative one fourths here so when the a3 how many one fourths i'm timing i multiply two negative one fourths a through a4 how many i time here is three like a2 is i times one so i know for the a n c here what my exponents here will be what will be n 
minus ones, right? So it will be n minus ones here. So that is how do I write these general terms? Here is negative one fourth n minus one. If you don't know is true or not, you can substitute, right? So the n's here is equal to the one, two, three, da, da, da. Some people like to put the negative one out. So because this is later we talk about alternating series, you can take the negative one out, it will just be the negative one to the n minus one power, then four times one fourth to the what? N minus one. So either way, it will work, right? Okay, so now let's do a part C here. So the part C, they give us, this is a 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 so here. So when you do this, the first thing is uh, you watch the pattern, then you say, oh, I think I saw a pattern here. So from here to here is a 3, from here to here is a 3, from here to here is a 3, from here to here is a 3. It seems I always add a three here, right? So you will say, okay, now the A1's here is a five. So the A2 is a five plus a three. Hey, take a look at A3 is 11, right? So it's a five plus how many three? Two threes, right? So it's a two times three. Okay, let's take a look at A4. A4 is a 14 here, right? So it's five times, how many three I add? Three threes, right? So it's three three. So that's why this will give you 11, this is 14. So after you see these patterns here, so you say A1, so A2, like A3 is here, you times two three. A4 is here, you times three threes here, right? So what is your AN here? AN will be what? It's five plus, right? So five plus what? N minus what? N minus one here, right? So that will be five plus N minus one times what? Times three, right? So that is a pretty uh, straightforward, but you just need to see, you know, like what do you put in the A1, A2. So if you write out a few terms, that can certainly help you. Okay, so, I'll probably get it more and more kind of a little bit interesting here. So this is one half. Like I said, uh, you know, beginning is always very easy. Now we're going to get a little bit more complicated problem. Negative uh, four over three, nine, four, and uh, negative 16 over five, then uh, 25 over six, then da, da, da. Okay, so the first things we saw here, this is alternating. So I have a positive, negative, a positive, and negative. All right, so that's what I see is alternating, right? So that means I need to have a what? So first things here, I need to have a negative one terms with some type of the powers here, right? So the I don't know what is this power yet, so let's save this space here. Now let's take a look at the other things. If you look, the denominator, this is a two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's kind of like a n, right? So let's kind of n. So the when n is equal to one. Is uh, two n equal to two is three. So I know my bottom here. This is n minus one, right? So when n equal to one, two, three, da 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 da. So that's why I recognize my bottom is n minus n plus one. Okay, now my top here. If you look at the top, you will see, huh? This is one. What is a four? Uh, two to the square. What is a nine? Hmm, three to the square. What is a 16? Four to the square. So what is a five? Five to the square. So you say, oh yes, I see my top here is n to the square. So this is n to the square. So when n equal to one, right? So when n equal to one, 
is one, and you go to two is two, and you go to three is three. Okay, so pretty good. Now, the only thing I have not settled is this negative one exponents here. So, okay, so let's try here, right? So you say here, let's try, I don't know. So you say, okay, let's try, put an N here to see it work or not. So you say, hey, A is equal to one. Oh boy, so this is negative one to the one. So it's negative power. So it cannot match the one half. One half is a positive. So what I need to do, you said, um, well, maybe I can do, let's see, n plus one. Let's work or not. Okay, so when n equal to one, so one plus one is two. So negative one to the two, oh, that become positive, so match. Okay, so when n equal to two, so this will be two plus one is three. So negative one to the third power will be negative. Yes, match. So I can, you know, so I say, okay, this is good. So this is my answer. So someone may ask, say, hey, can I do like this? Negative one to the n minus one, this is n squared plus n plus one. Can I do that? And I say, yes, absolutely. Why? Because let's try to see n equal to one. So one minus one is zero. Negative one to the zero power is a positive. Ha, ah, one half is a positive, it's good. Okay, a equal to two, two minus one is one, right? Negative one to the one's power is what? It's negative, so it'll work. So this one will work also. Right, so the, your negative one terms, it doesn't have to be a certain pattern. So the best way to check is after you decide is n, n plus one, n minus one, or whatever the formula you try to use, Plug back and to see match your sequence or not, right? Okay, the last problems here for this practice here. This one is also, this is a very interesting one. So this is one, zero, negative one, zero, one, zero, negative one, zero, right? Da, da, da. So this one is alternating here. Then you said, uh, hmm, what function will give me one, zero, negative one, zero? One, zero, negative one, zero, right? So did you see here? Seems like every time, every four number, no, every four numbers, they repeat. One, zero, negative one, zero, one, zero, negative one, zero. So immediately, what do you think about? I said, ha, ah, I know a functions. What the function I know? Ha, ah, I know the sine function. Right, so this is my sine functions here, right? So what is here? So this is the, so those are the four numbers I am looking for, right? So the, those are the uh, four numbers I'm looking for here. So here, this one, let me, let me redo that. Okay, so here, um, so if you see, I think I know a number here. So this one's here, this one's here. Okay, so you say my sine functions here. This is my sines, right? And then you say, okay, here, one, zero, negative one, zero, That's right? So one, negative one, zero, so it's a pattern. So I say, okay, so I can define that this an is equal to what? Sine n pi over two, right? So n is from one, two, da, 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 da. All right? So when n equal to one, is what? Pi over two is this one. n equal to two is pi. n equal to three is three pi over two n equal to four is a two pi, right? So this is will be my sequence, general term. Then you will say, hey, um, Ms. Shuko, I know the, you know, I know the cosine function probably will work, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So the way you define the sequence doesn't have to be exactly the one functions, right? So 
This is my cosines, right? So this is my cosine x here. Let's take a look where the cosine. One, zero. So it's one, zero, negative one, zero, right? So those are the functions working also. So you can say, hey, the an I want to define is the cosines, right? Okay, so for n equal to one, I cannot hold try here. So if I said n pi over two, right? Because my sequence always start with n equal to one, two, da, da, da. So when n equal to one, what I have here is a pi over two is here. Pi over two is zero. So it's not going to work. So what I'm going to put here, I'm going to put like this. So I will say here, this is two, instead of n, I have n minus one to the pi here. So when n equal to one, is one minus one is zero, right? So zero pi is zero, so it's one. So now I match my patterns here. So yes, absolutely, if you want to put the cosine will work, or you want to put the sign, it will work here, all right? And uh, so uh, let's finish our practice number one for this unit, sequence and a series. I hope that you got all the 10 problems right. And then, then the next practice, since we know how to write the sequence, we're going to take a look, how do I determine a sequence is converging or diverging? And if it's converging, what is it? What will be the sequence limit here? All right, so that's it. And don't forget to practice, practice, and practice. That's the way you to be successful in the math here. Looking forward to practice together for our next topics here. Bye.